Sorry, drag it to the cigarette here. Here's a very beloved picture of mine. Uh, I love this building. This is called the Dome of the Rock. It's very famous. Uh, and there's evidence to show it used to be a Christian shrine. Now, these arches that you see here were built by the Christians. Muslims believe that they were there since the beginning of time. But let's look further into this. Let's look at the floor plan of the Dome of the Rock. That octagon shape. That was very common for Byzantine shrines at the time, and they would have uh, honored the temple uh, in some way of a precursor to Christianity. Now check out the floor plan for Saint uh, the the uh, shrine built over what's supposed to be Saint Peter's house. Check that out. Now let's go back to the floor plan for the Dome of the Rock. It seems like the same architecture, the same culture is being used. Let's go under the coins. Look at these Byzantine coins. Crosses with men on them. Now, the cross is anathema in Islam, and so is pictures of any man or animal. Which, that's fine, because these are Byzantine coins. But what about the earliest Islamic coins? Wow, we see a man. Kind of looks like Jesus. Might have been Muawiyah, but he's holding a cross. And it's a picture of a man. And these are some of the earliest Islamic coins. Really look at these. Now there's something coming up here that strikes as, as strange. Coins we now see... What is that? That's the menorah. Every archaeological proof shows that Islam began as a synchronistic religion and the Islam that we know of didn't appear until hundreds of years later. Is this a masjid? Is this a mosque? No, that's a Byzantine church. Why would anybody be confused about that? because mosques are based off of Byzantine churches. Here's another famous Byzantine church, the, the biggest Christian church until the, the cathedrals of the Middle Ages. This is Hagia Sophia, but yet people recognize it as a masjid. <coughs> Back to the very Christian work <coughs> at the Dome of the Rock. Is there any question in your mind that Islam didn't grow up in synchronicity, just looking at the architecture and the coins.